so hello. Welcome to Indianapolis. Uh, <laughs> so my name is Dominic Bird McDevitt. I'm with the local organizing committee. Um, I'm just going to give a few logistics um, before I hand it off to our host for some welcome and then our uh, for a welcome and then our keynote. Um, I wanted to start off though first um, with some thank yous. If you were at the culture crawl uh, yesterday, we had so many great partners. Uh, I am not even going to say all their names. We had over um, 20 different organizations participating. I know a lot of you were uh, running from tour to tour all day long uh, and then our wonderful reception at the Kurt Vonnegut Museum and Library. Um, so we just want to say thank you to all those partners and I think it also is just a, a testament to um, the work that those of us here in Indianapolis have done over the last few years making inroads that all of these wonderful um, you know sites that were uh, willing to to offer all of that to us. Um, and then I also have uh, a fun announcement to make. I know those of you who are from the Wikipedia community that normally know that normally Wikipedia Day is a day we celebrate in January, um, but I wanted to let you know that today, October 4th, is also Wikipedia Day. Uh, <laughs> So I, I just wanted to read this. Uh, this is a proclamation put out by the mayor of Indianapolis, Joe Hogsett. Uh, so it says, proclamation to all, who, who, to all whom these pre present, presents may come, greetings, whereas Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, was founded in 2001 and has since become the most ubiquitous and well-read reference work in the world. Billions of readers globally have benefited from the website's crowdsourced open access information, with, which has democratized access to and production of knowledge, and whereas Indianapolis University, Indianapolis University Library, adopted its open access policy in 2009 and its open value statement in 2019, affirming that, affirming that a commitment to open knowledge enhances the well-being of the institution and the public while dedicating the library to disseminating and increasing the visibility of IUI research and central Indiana history through a variety of channels such as IUI scholar works and cultural heritage collections. The Indiana State Library provides open access to the breadth of Indiana's cultural heritage through initiatives such as Hoosier State Chronicles and Indiana Memory, a digital platform launched in 2008 that offers a portal to hundreds of digital collections from repositories across the state, including many of Indianapolis's key institutions, and whereas the Central Indiana Wikipedia Partnership, a project administered by the IUI University Library, has received over $280,000 from the Indianapolis Foundation Library Fund to improve the representation of Indiana's heritage on Wikipedia, the Indiana State Library, through its partnership with the Digital Public Library of America, has shared more than a quarter million digital images to Wikimedia Commons from a dozen local institutions that have received 20 million views. And whereas every year for the past 10 years, the community of Wikipedia editors, stakeholders, and allies in North America has come together for Wikiconference North America to share studies and workshops related to Wikipedia's reliability outreach equity, cultural heritage, education, community organizing, and more. This year's conference, which was awarded a $130,000 grant from the Wikimedia Foundation, is being organized by and held at, the Indiana, at Indiana University Indianapolis, bringing hundreds of attendees to our city and reflecting the university libraries and the city's heritage workers' deep involvement in the broader open knowledge movement. Now, therefore, I, Joe, Joseph H. Hogsett, Mayor of the City of Indianapolis, do hereby proclaim October 4th, 2024, as Wikipedia Day in the city of Indianapolis. And I ask all citizens to join, in, join me in this observation. That, 
that was, uh, I did not practice that, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> we, we have this on display um, with the mayor's actual uh, signature, and um, so it was very fun for me to pick that up in person um, at the city county building, and I, um, I had to take the elevator up to the 25th floor, and the, uh, the, the secretary there who was uh, handing it to me told me, I, I asked, is this real, was this just an auto pen or a real uh, signature? And she said, he only signs the ones that he is excited by and that he signed this one. Um, so we will reconstruct the stand and put that somewhere for people to <laughs> view later. Um, so I just wanted to quickly go through some Logistics now. Uh, welcome. This is Wiki Conference North America. Uh, as we just shared, um, the first one was in 2014, and so we've been getting together for a decade now. Um, this is, you know, our annual gathering for Wikipedians uh, across the continent. Um, there's some things that I want to share just so everybody knows for today. Um, and we can do, uh, if anyone has any quick questions after that. Um, at all Wikimedia events, and in particular here, um, we adhere to the safe space policy. Um, you can go to that short link, safety.wcna.wiki, to uh, read it all, but we want you to know that any uh, safe space volunteers are the ones that have the yellow uh, badge, uh, yellow lanyard and um, that, there, that you can send a message to the Safe Space team um, by uh, emailing safety at wcna.wiki. Um, and uh, Peter, if he's here, is the uh, Safe Space over there. Peter Meyer, Safe Space chair. Uh, and Marty Fair Velos, if she's here, co-chair. Um, So speaking of lanyards, um, this is uh, what we traditionally do at Wikiconference. If someone has a red, red lanyard, that means they don't want their photo taken. Um, and, and white is just us regular folks. Yellow is safe space. Um, green is if there are any members of the press. Uh, our photo policy, as I said, anyone wearing red lanyards shouldn't be photographed. Um, and so you should be aware of that and careful when you're taking pictures of groups of, of people um, and also just generally be respectful when you're taking pictures of anyone um, if it's a type of photo they would want taken. Um, and if you, uh, we are live streaming all, all sessions. Um, if you are someone who doesn't want to be uh, photographed, then um, be aware of that if you're walking in front of the camera or uh, in, in any of the, the rooms. We have this, this QR code will take you to the, the category on Wikimedia Commons. Um, we ask, you know, everybody take lots of pictures, upload your, your pictures, um, upload your pictures from yesterday as well. Um, and note that Wiki Loves Monuments is, uh, currently running and we have lots of monuments in this city too. Um, so all of our sessions are being streamed uh, on Zoom. Uh, you can find the links in the schedule in the column headers. Every room is its own Zoom webinar stream. Um, the rooms will have all have room minders uh, that will be fielding any Q&A questions uh, to the speakers. Um, there's only a small number of sessions which are marked that will uh, not be streamed. Um, at the request of the speakers. If you are a presenter, note that every room has its own podium computer, um, except for, this, for the auditorium. Um, all of the uh, streams are being, uh, or all of the, the uh, presentations are being streamed and uh, also translated uh, live to both Spanish and French. Um, so if you would like uh, uh, interpretation, um, 
into Spanish from, uh, or, or English for the Spanish speakers. Uh, in this room, we have live human simultaneous interpretation on the Zoom stream. Uh, so if you're on site, you can uh, join the Zoom audio only uh, to, get the, uh, to get the Zoom uh, audio interpretation through uh, your device. In any other uh, room, uh, but also including this room for French or English uh, captioning as well. Uh, you can download the Interprefy app. Uh, there will be QR codes posted in all the rooms for how to do that. Uh, so you can use Interprefy to get machine, tran machine interpretation to Spanish or French, um, and also captioning in all of those. Uh, because this all takes place on your device, you can just plug in your own, uh, your own uh, earphones to use. If you don't have one with you today, we have some at the registration desk. Uh, we have a, a merch store at merch.wcna.wiki. And here's some more uh, links. We have these uh, shortcuts to our schedule, uh, travel information, uh, how to get to the telegram, um, the merch store, and the map with all of the relevant sites. For tonight, uh, we will have our um, opening reception at the Indiana State Library. There will be uh, catering of just appetizers, but please get, get food on your own before that at 6 p.m. Um, and tomorrow, there's also going to be just a gathering. Uh, we have uh, space reserved at the AMP at 16 Tech. Um, food is not included in that, but, there, but you can buy food on site. It's a, a food hall. Um, so lastly, I just wanted to uh, call out some of the, the... Yes, go ahead. <laughs> um, so 6 p.m. tonight, Indiana State Library. Sorry, I'm trying to rush through because we're a little behind schedule. Um, so I just wanted to call out the organizers um, and, and volunteers here today, also so you know um, if there's anything going wrong, who to ask. Uh, I'm Dominic. Jamie is in the back of the room who was just shouting. Um, Jerry and Olivia Jerry and Olivia are also in the back of the room. Um, the four of us constitute the like core team for the Wikimedians of Indiana. Um, <laughs> and uh, we already mentioned safe space. Uh, you've probably all met by now Deb Rotman, who will be mostly stationed at the registration desk uh, and is uh, coordinating volunteers. Um, we also have Tammy and Nate, if you see them running around, are with the venue um, and our AV. Uh, and then we have lots of people from the Wikimedia Foundation here today, and there will be um, Wikimedia Foundation uh, staff at the tables outside the, the hallway. So I just wanted to make sure to mention that. Um, and we already gave the link to the schedule. Uh, just to orient you, so we, will, we have breakfast and coffee outside in the lobby here, uh, and the snack at the, the afternoon snack will also be in the lobby here. Uh, there will be lunch and, and um, drinks that are at the, uh, being served at the University Tower um, conference rooms. So to get to that, you will go out towards where the registration desk is currently and down the long hallway and then take a left and up the stairs. So we have some signs pointing you to there. Um, it's in the same building, but it's like in, in the far side of the building and there will be buffet tables set up there. Uh, all of the main programming rooms for today are um, here uh, in close proximity. So we have the Kelly executive meeting rooms. If you have one of the Kelly rooms that you're trying to go to, those are in this direction, just uh, right outside this door. Um, and then the classrooms, room 118 is literally next door in this direction to the auditorium. And then all the 200 uh, level classes if you go up the spiral staircase in the lobby upstairs and they're all up there. Um, 
the the lunch rooms are called Indiana and President's Room. Uh, those are all set up with uh, tables that people can use outside of uh, lunchtime as well. Uh, and the Purdue uh, room, which is the smaller one next to those lunch rooms, is our safe space room. Uh, there are men's and women's restrooms out, uh, outside uh, the auditorium, and upstairs is an all-gender restroom. Uh, in Taylor Hall across the street, there is a nursing room and an interfaith prayer room. Um, the safe space room is Purdue room, like I said. And then outside the hallway on the other side of the, uh, the glass wall is where the tables are set up for Wikimedia Foundation staff. So like I said, please um, interact with them. That's all I have. Uh, any quick questions? Uh, so I want to uh, hand it over uh, and introduce um, Christy Palmer. Uh, and I just want to say, uh, you know, for this event, uh, we really owe the most thanks to the Indiana University, Indianapolis University Library, um, you know, not just for being our host, but for being kind of the nexus of all the, the work that's been going on uh, in Indianapolis in the last few years in the Wikipedia community. Um, and so to uh, welcome you, uh, I want to welcome to the stage um, the Herbert Simon Family Dean of the University Library, Christy Palmer. Thank you, Dominic. And I will help us get back on time because uh, I committed the cardinal sin this morning of writing my remarks closing my computer and they are gone. Um, <laughs> luckily, I always practice with my Beagle Jack in the morning, so we'll, we'll see how much I remember. Um, good morning and, and thank you for the introduction, Dominic, and welcome to my hometown of Indianapolis and to the campus of IU Indianapolis. We acknowledge that our location on the traditional and ancestral territory of the Miami, Potawatomi, and Shawnee people we honor the heritage of Native peoples, what they teach us about stewardship of the earth and their continuing efforts today to protect the planet. Founded in 1969, then IUPUI, now IU Indianapolis, stands on the historic homelands of Native peoples and more recently that of a vibrant Black community, also displaced. Uh, as the present stewards of the land, we honor them as well as, as we all live, work, study, and play at IU Indianapolis. In 2018, a group of Hoosier librarians, historians, and act archivists, I almost said activists, which they all are also that, uh, and technologists gathered. Uh, we gathered to work on the digital encyclopedia of Indianapolis. We were working to convert uh, an original paper print text that was created in 1994, a 1,600-page tome, into a digital version. This group met, and we were always marking our progress against how would we be like Wikipedia and how would we be different from Wikipedia. This, this digital encyclopedia now exists, um, and it's, it's somewhere in the middle of converting a PDF uh, into a digitized version online and a, a virtual reality experience. And we sort of talked about um, the spectrum of all those uh, options when we were doing this conversion. But the whole time, we were always benchmarking against how would this be like Wikipedia and how would it not? The how would it not part was very much based in us understanding how hard it is to keep a resource that is community-based, um, community-driven correct, right? You all know what this work looks like. You do it every single day, and we recognized the human work that goes into doing this. Um, and so that was always at, at fore of mind, is how do we maintain a resource like this um, make sure that it's authentic to the voice of the community while also being correct. And I would say that that's true for so many other digital resources that exist now. I've been in many, I started my career in, in digital librarianship, and we often say, 
what, how did Wikipedia do it? Um, and now the, the broader community of w uh, Wikimedia Commons, all of the, the data, the images um, that you all have created uh, over time. My career started 21 years ago and, and Wikipedia has gone from then being sort of an existential crisis for librarians to how are we gonna talk about this in the classroom? How are we gonna present it to students to now being a model for what this can look like. So congratulations to you all for, for making that happen. I wanna recognize a core group of folks who have done some amazing work here uh, in Indianapolis, specifically at IU Indianapolis. My release, Jerry, Dominic, Olivia, Stephen, Lucy, Dee Dee, and Kyle have all been doing phenomenal work. You, you, um, Dominic mentioned some of it of adding distinct, diverse, and underrepresented voices to the Wikipedia world. They're doing that primarily through um, representation in India, Indiana and Indianapolis, writing on topics, capturing images, uploading data that is reflective of that underrepresented voice here in Indiana, and it's amazing work. We're so happy to be supported by a local community foundation that deeply cares about this work. The Central Indiana Community Foundation has, has supported us over um, many years in increasing this diversity. They, like you all here, the editors of Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons, you reflect that cross-cultural humanity necessary for the democratic authorship, for the critical check and balance to our continuously complex, excuse me, complex uh, information universe. The Wikimedia Foundation said it best that technology is important, but humanity is essential. Thank you all for being that humanity. Um, uh, thank you for your dedication to this work. Thanks for coming to IU Indianapolis. We're so happy to have you here uh, and welcome. <laughs>